All right, everyone. In this problem, we are going to be looking at dosing. Specifically, we're going to be calculating gallons of a disinfectant needed uh, for a certain scenario. So let's lay out out here. So what do we got? We are going to be using a 12.5% solution of sodium hypochlorite. 12.5% solution, right? Remember that that means that 12.5% of whatever volume I add is actually going to be chlorine right, or weight I add is actually going to be chlorine. Well, now, what are we using this, okay? We're using this to disinfect a water supply at a flow rate of 1.5 MGD, right? MGD is what? A million gallons per day, okay? What am I trying to dose? I'm trying to bring in a chlorine dose of 2.5 milligrams per liter, and I want to know how many gallons per day I need. The other piece of this information I need is I need to know the weight of this hypochlorite solution. We're gonna say that it is 10 pounds per gallon. All right, so I kind of laid out my scenario, laid out my variables here. So what do I need? Well, I need something along the lines of the pounds formula, but with a twist. So if you look at your conversion sheet, right, the California State Water Resource Control Board, the distribution and treatment, on the front is solutions. Right here, you see GPD equals, that's gallons per day, of whatever disinfectant you're using. So what do I need in that formula? I know that I need the concentration of chlorine. I know that I need the volume or flow times the weight of water. I also need to know my percent strength or percent purity, as it says on there, times the weight of my solution. Right? This is the information I need to get me two gallons per day. Right? So concentration, right? that's how much chlorine I actually want in the water. Right? That's that 2.5 milligrams per liter, in other words, parts per million. The volume I'm directly given in million gallons per day, which makes it nice and easy. My volume has to be, or flow has to be in MGs. The weight of water stays the same. The percent strength, that's that 12.5. Remembering that 12.5 needs to be divided by 100, right? We want to plug in the decibel version of this. So what does it look like? It looks like 0 0.125 times by the weight. In this case, that's that 10 pounds per gallon. And remember that it's the weight. By adding this, I'm taking what looks like my normal pounds formula, and I'm turning it from into calculating pounds into gallons. That's what this 10 does, 10 pounds per per gallon. So now it's just a matter of running these numbers in my calculator. Um, however, it's easiest for you to think about it, whether you're running the whole thing in your calculator with some parentheses or whether you're multiplying the top, then multiplying the bottom and dividing the two, whatever you need to do to get to the right answer. So I'm going to run it with you. 2.5 times 1.5 times 8.34. And then I'm going to divide that out by the 0.125 times my 10 pounds per gallon, and that gets me to 25.02, we'll just say 25.0 gallons per day, right? And that's gallons of my 12.5% sodium hypochlorite solution. So make sure you get to something very close to this 25 gallons per day.